two of the biggest plays in this one. Just talk about what it's like for you. Just you know, you you might not have even had this season, and then you end up making one of the biggest plays in this for this program in this year. First of all, I, I just want to thank God for um like a um, quick recovery and stuff like that, and um. Big, big time players, maybe big time players. I was messing up all game on coverage and stuff like that. But when it, when it, when it's crunch time, I came to clutch. Did um when when you saw the ball coming your way on that two point try, did, what what goes through your mind? You have a chance to, to seal the deal right there. Uh, yeah, All I thought about was the Terrence Welch and the Kate Allen. <laughs> yes, sir. What um what was it like? Like how, how did you feel going into last week? What were your thoughts on the injury after this after tonight? Everything um, great? I've been feeling good um for like a past month now. Um. I just I trusted myself with the knee, and um, I, I went at it at practice and stuff like that. When after that tipped pass and they score and come back, how much did you guys have to kind of talk, or whether you or the defense as a whole or whatever? What was the conversation like in terms of just put that thing behind you and and get back to it? It was basically we we was all emotional at the time, but you know I I stand up and was like. Let's go. Do or die. Um, I didn't want my seniors to go out sad, so had to, we had to come up and make some plays. And you, you mentioned some of it to Sam, but to have sat for so long and how frustrating that was for, for somebody that wants to be out there with those guys, to be able to come back and be a part of this these last few weeks, how special has that been to, to be back on the field with these guys for a night like this? I mean, I feel good um, about just taking my time in recovery. And um, I had fun coaching up those guys and winning games, having fun turning up at the games. But, you know, I, I really want to get back these these last two games and I have fun with the team. In terms of recruiting, I know it's it's hard to think about that after all those emotions going through your head right now. Just. What are, what are some of the coaches' teams that have been kind of standing out the last couple of weeks? You've had a lot of time to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Now that it's 2022 and you're home a lot, what uh, what teams have kind of caught your attention? I say Oklahoma. I've been keeping up with LSU, um, Texas A&M, um, South Alabama, Mississippi State, you've teams you've like that. You've always liked Oklahoma. What uh, what have they been telling you? You know, maybe some motivation for the injury, playoffs. What uh, what have you been hearing from Oklahoma? Um, the coaches. I love the head coach and the, and the cornerback coach. I love all the coaches. Um, I went on the virtual tour actually, and I really liked it. What did you like about that? Um, they they did my own presentation like with my jersey and stuff like that and my name and stuff like that, and it was really, it was really good. You also mentioned A&M. Um, obviously, they're right on the outside of the, the college football playoff, but what a great season. What um, what have you been hearing from the A&M coaches? Oh, Coach Russian, um, uh, he's a great guy. Uh, he keep up with me. Um, he know I was injured. He, he didn't care because he, he knew I mean, when I get back, I'm going to make plays. Well, we saw that tonight, right? Yes, sir. You, you did mention Mississippi State. What have you been hearing from uh, Coach Mason and, and uh, all the coaches over at State? Um, Coach Mason, uh, I love Coach Mason. Um, he's he's a cool guy. Um, yeah, right, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, he um he mentioned he used to um like coach with the Bullets and stuff like that. So we really connected a lot with that. And then you said you've you've been talking a little bit to LSU. Obviously, I mean, you might wake up to it all for in the morning. What uh what have the conversations been like from with LSU, Coach Raymond and uh, Coach O? What have they been telling you? Um, they all been just keeping in touch with me. Um, and I just hope I get it. Well, what would it mean to you? I mean, a lot. Of, I might cry in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what um, what are the conversations? What what, are the, what kind of stuff do they tell you? Obviously, without an offer, they're still like obviously recruiting you. Oh, um, they just want they just really um cared about my recovery and see how it would play out in my recovery and stuff like that. And that's basically it. What have they been telling you about like an offer or what, what like the what the situation would would have to be? Basically, um, seeing how I play out the recovery. Well, I think you made it quite the case. What um. I know you said you developed these relationships. What, what would it mean to you? You said you might cry. Why, why would you cry if, if they offered? Um, I'm a boot boy, so, <laughs> so I, um, it would mean a lot to me. Bro. Awesome. You now are a part of back-to-back -back state champions, and, and you'll have a chance to, to go for, for three. Yes, sir. For your class that says goodbye to some great seniors like Derek and company. Mm -hmm. What now? What's the conversation like for the 2022 guys? Okay, eight days and um, off season. Let's work. <laughs> I'm ready.